So here are the small and large drawings. This is what we end up, this is a color finish. This is where all of the, uh, well actually this is only going to be the half title of the book. So there will be nothing on this side of the page. Then the next page is going to be the full title and the story actually begins. And that's why there's so much vacant space because you've got to have some place to put the writing. But in this book I'm putting the bird drawings very, very close because it's as if we're in the trees looking down at the people. Um, See. This one we changed completely. The original drawing was going to be another one of them in the tractor. And the publisher said, well, we want to see what your grandfather looked like up close. So we're doing a close-up of me on the tractor with my grandpa. And in those days, you know, you could literally ride on the fender of the tractor as a child, which is actually pretty dangerous. My grandpa would have never let anything happen to him. And then this is kind of an overview of our farm. Um, these are barn swallows, and I've had to look at my book on birds to get their exact coloring. But what Grandpa used to do, that I'm illustrating over here, this is where the writing is going to go. That's why it's vacant. But he used to drive around the nests of thrashers in the fields. And that's, you know, he loved birds, and that's what he did to protect them. And I remember as a little girl being so impressed with that, that he, he protected birds. Um, so this is kind of the night before I left the farm. And we're sitting in front of the fireplace and I'm asking my grandpa, you know, I, I don't want to leave. And he's saying, well, but we have to because I've sold the farm and you're going to go to Battle Creek and you're going to go to school in Battle Creek and you're going to be absolutely happy. And I was asking him, I remember, but are there birds there? And he said, oh my, yes, thousands. So that's what the story is about at the beginning. I'm worried about seeing birds. But then when I went to uh, this beautiful library, and this is Creepy birds to life for me. She got out all the books about birds and eventually took me up into the stacks where the public is not allowed to go and showed me elephant editions of Audubon's paintings of birds. And that's when I knew I wanted to be an artist and that's when I knew how much I loved birds. It was all thanks to Mrs. Creepy. So that's the book that's coming out. It, you're going to see many more interiors of the Willard Library. Uh, there's a brand new Willard Library on another street, but the old library is still there. And like I say, so much of my life wouldn't have happened had I not walked into that library and met Mrs. Creevy and gotten my first library card because I ended up doing so many drawings of birds. We had an open house at school. And the open house, all of us, the kids in my class made birds out of light bulbs and tissue paper. And we invited our parents to come. Mrs. Creevy brought the president of the Audubon Bird Club. And he gave me a special medal because I, I literally made that club happen at Fremont Elementary School in Battle Creek, Michigan, over 70 years ago. And I do believe that club is still meeting. So that's the story.